know, friends, let me tell you something. I don't care what day it is. I don't care. I'm willing to worship God Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Thursday night. Who, anyway, who invented, invented those names? No. This is the day that the Lord has made. Amen. We will rejoice and be glad. And I'll tell you, we don't want to run any programs. Listen to me, it's very important to understand. I'll speak to you my heart. Well, not my, my, my heart first before I'll speak my mind. Okay. I prayed for revival many times. You know, we pray for revival. We want revival. But we don't want to pay the price. And I'll tell you, I'll, let me teach you tonight a little bit about that. I think God is changing my message. But I really feel to tell you something because God, do you sense that God is about to release something here? Amen. Do you sense that God is, is doing something in our midst and He's going to outpour His Spirit? So, listen to me. Our Tuesday nights, let me begin with, we've got lots of time and we could stay over time. But we've got lots of time. From the very beginning that we have built this place, I really had a vision for the place to have a place of worship and praise and power and just the ministry of the Spirit of God. Beside teachings and everything else, beside the office work and television and everything else. No, but my desire in having the meetings is not because we want to run some meetings and uh, do whatever. No, my desire is to have meetings for one purpose, is for the Spirit of God to move. I mean, what else we're here for? Right? Okay. So we decided to have Tuesday nights, as we call Bible studies. I mean, how, how long the church should teach, should learn, should, should, should learn the Bible? There's a time in our life that we should move to a higher dim dimension with the Word of God together, but experience what God really places in our life. So that not only us, but other people, especially sinners, will come and join us and experience God. This is what God wants. All right? I could teach and teach. I could open Bible school here, but that, that is not going to do any good to any sinner. All right? So my desire is to have Tuesday nights as a praise night. Have you noticed that we're praising God for an hour or more on Tuesday night? You know, uh, you, you see, we don't just gather together to uh, listen again to another preacher. I think what we need to do is to understand one thing, that we need to get together and first in, to invite the Spirit of God in, in, in full measure. And then God will decide whether we are going to preach, teach, dance, or pray. All right? The main point of that is, is that we would see the power of God moving in our life. This is why we got the best sound people here. All right? We have a, a person that he is one of the best sound men that we could ever find. God brought him to us. He does this sound for us for a purpose because I told you that we need to do things in excellence. Now, when I was worshiping here, and a years ago, I had the same thing in my heart. To have worship teams that are anointed, powerful, to bring the presence of God. Amen. Not only me, 
but to have team of people working. And I'm still believing God that God is going to give us a good piano player. Amen. And musicians. And everybody that will just join us because this place is going to be filled up. Amen. See what we offer in here. People don't understand that what we offer in here is not another service. But we inviting people to come and worship God one more time during the week. Amen. You know, to experience God's presence. I mean, every believer should have that desire to worship God one more time, especially if somebody will lead him. Amen. This is why our ministry is open to every believer in this entire uh, continent. I mean, Montreal. People want to come and worship and be edified and touched by the Lord. That's what we are planning to do. Amen. We don't have, a, I don't have a program. I just want to be in the presence of God. Amen? Amen. And when God will fill our Tuesdays, then we may go, in, may go into Wednesdays. And maybe may not even teach or preach the word of God. As we do on Saturday, but we just may go, go into worship and see what God is going to do next. Amen. I don't want to build programs. Come to our church. We have Bible studies. We're going to go through this book and that book. And people think they're going to get something new. Listen to me. Whatever God has given to us, we must use already. But that's not the point. God wants to release His power. Amen. And presence. And do something with our life. But without the anointing of the Holy Spirit, it, it's not going to happen. So, we want to have this place opened for God as praise and worship. I believe God honors praise and worship. Amen? Amen? Yes. Now, we, we want revival, we want, but we, we don't know how to pay the price. Paying the price, it means it's not that you just uh, pace in the floor for a month <clears throat> and trying to pray for revival. That's not the case. A lot of people, they don't understand what does it mean really paying the price. It's not just you jumping in and you're doing everything you possibly can out of your skin until you're almost dead. And then say, oh my God, that was a hard work to do. Yes. It will be. Amen. That's not the case. Paying the price, you need to be consistent. Are you listening? Consistent in everything. And one thing God wants us to be consistent in that vision and passion. It's not always that you'll be able to pray or fast or dance or do whatever. But your consistency is important. Paying the price means... We've been here every Tuesday since we are here. Worshiping God. Giving Him the glory. Because this is the passion of my heart and the ministry. This is why I go from place to place across Canada to bring that stubborn believers into the presence of God. I'm offering all the gifts that God has given me to bring stubborn believers into the presence of God. Isn't it pathetic? Now, let me and tell you, this place is opened every Tuesday. We run internet all over the world for people that they don't understand yet. That the only place that is safe for them is in the presence of God. We are not advertising here anything. We just bring in people, we try to bring people, and that's the mandate that God has given us, into His presence. Hello? Amen. So when these things are opened, I know why, why the Bible studies are suffering in churches, and even prayer meetings. A few people come, you know, because they did not understand the, the purpose. The purpose is... Is the heart first. You see, the heart. We're not creating any programs here to teach people 
what is that, what is this, and what is this. That is fantastic, that is good, but my desire is to have this open to, 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 to the presence of God, to worship all over again, and to see what God is going to do. That's what it means to pay the price. To pay the price, it means that you are consistent, desiring God to be in His presence, and to do everything you possibly can, not to miss it. Amen? Amen. Praise be to God. And I'm going to continue. This, I'm glad that God has opened my heart and my eyes to this. So that I can go from coast to coast across this huge country of Canada. And have these meetings... Available for people. You know, it doesn't matter how many people come. They'll come. But I enjoy it. You know, I enjoy what I'm doing. I enjoy what I'm doing. Because I love to be in the presence of God. And even singing today, I was thinking about that. I said, Lord... Sometimes we are arguing with ourselves. Sometimes we are complaining. Oh, Lord, another service I want to go. Um, I need to go. But, you know, because you belong, you might go. You probably should go on this and that. You're debating. But, my, my friend, when your heart is going to be opened, Lord, I need the touch of the Holy Spirit today. Though I cannot go it through myself with the help of others and being surround, sur surrounded by worshipers, I will get my breakthrough today. And I'm coming. Amen. Amen. This is what it means, paying the price. Paying the price, it doesn't mean when you're doing it through your skin. You're pushing it. Paying the price is when your heart is there. Your heart. Amen. I want to come because I want to worship Jesus. I'm not coming for another little Bible study and discussions. You know, I've noticed that the little Bible studies and discussions, they die out quickly. And do you know why? Because people are dancing around the same thing. They get fed up. I understand. I perfectly understand. I was thinking about also about something else. Why people think... Oh, I don't want to, you know, come and hear that music loud and uh, this guy is the same. It's the same voice and this and that. It's not a concert. It's not an entertainment. It's an opportunity to get into the presence of God together. It's an opportunity to cry out to God for revival. It's an opportunity to be open for miracles. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When people go to concerts, you know, they pay big bucks to go there and they fill up the place because they know the next one will be next year. They like that entertainment. And they fill up the place, they go to hear that singer that they like, and that's it. And that's it. But this is not a concert. This is not an entertainment. It's not about what I like to hear. It's about the condition of a heart between us and God. It's not about what we like to hear. It's about we want to be in His presence. Amen? Amen? Thank God God has given us a few gifts that we can use in addition to that. It's good to have a good voice sometimes and good music. But that's not the important thing. The important thing is to be in His presence. Amen? And honestly, when I was worshiping the Lord... I really sense in my heart but that this Tuesday night meetings, they will be anointed. Because we are not here just because God told me to be here. I'm here because I want to see the move and the power of God. Every believer, whether he's a minister or not, if he's pursuing God, God is going to give him something what he's looking for. God says, ask, seek, and knock. Hallelujah. And God says, he shall fulfill the desire of my heart. 
I'm going from place to place, not because of money, not because of fame, not because of God told me to do it only, but I'm going there to, 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 to be in the presence of God and to see what God is going to do in St. John's, Newfoundland. Amen. Amen. To see believers edified and blessed and touched by the Spirit. My passion is to go and see the move of God. Amen. Hallelujah. That's why we have these services. That's why we have availability for people to worship Jesus on Tuesday night. Amen. That's the passion of God. God wants you to know. He, Jesus said that he is looking. God is seeking. Can you imagine God is looking? For those who will worship him. In spirit and in truth. Do you know that in the first church, the book of Acts, people were never moved by emotions. Today I'm going through a hard time. I'm not going to church. I'll stay home until that depression will pass on. When I'll feel better, more happy, I'll come. The opposite. They were in the presence of God because that's where they had their answers. Today, our churches, they are not offering this kind of a service. Are you listening? It's from Sunday to Sunday or from Saturday to Saturday and maybe something in the, in, in the middle of the week. Why? It's because people have lost taste. What does it mean to be in God's presence? What does it mean to walk in God? Hallelujah. We need to come back with our hearts first. Before we're going to see revival, we need to come back with our hearts first to that passionate love for Jesus. Amen? Amen. If you are not, you need to be reborn again. Amen? Reborn. Quickly. The passion for God. What drives a believer is the Spirit of God. All right? The main point, what drives a believer, not what he's going through and what he can achieve and what kind of victory he can have. The main point in the life of a believer is the move of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The move of the Holy Spirit. Without the move of the Holy Spirit, believer becomes dry. I'm not trying my ministry. I want to fulfill my ministry. And that is, my ministry is to bring people into God's presence. And I'll tell you, this is the most hardest ministry you can have because people tend to move away and the devil is working very hard on their lives to quench the spirit. My job that God has given me and mandate that God has given me is to bring people always back into his presence. God Told me that. That's why we, we bring a lot of emphasis on the presence of God. People think if I'm Jewish, I have to speak about Israel. I don't mind. People think if I'm Jewish, I have to go and bring Jewish people to, to, to Jesus. I don't mind. People think if I'm Jewish, I have to have a Messianic congregation. Okay, I don't mind to, what, to do whatever. Whatever we call, whatever we are, whatever we have... Whatever we think we can do and the way we look like, it doesn't matter. But one mandate that I will never forsake is to bring and to stay, to bring people into God's presence and to stay in God's presence. Whether they are Jews, whether they are Gentiles, whether they wear a kippah, whether they wear head covering, a dress covering, or whatever they carry, it doesn't matter to me. As long people know the presence of God and are there. Are you listening? 
Amen. We misunderstand many times what really God wants us to do. Amen. Tuesday nights, God has anointed. So far, only Tuesday night. I feel I'm prophesying tonight. So far, and I'm not saying because I'm the leader here. To encourage you to stay with me. No, it's not the case. But I really feel, and I'm speaking to myself, that this Tuesday night, God is going to honor. Why? Because we come in in a regular day to worship God for an hour. That is the price to pay. You got it? Saturday, everybody comes because it's a day off. We have people here, brother that works all day. He's a welder. He is under fire all day. And he hardly misses Tuesday nights. You know why? Not because he likes me. Well, I hope he does. <laughs> because he loves to be in the presence of God. This is what I mean the price to pay. Do you like me? Yeah. There you are. He says he does. Anybody else likes me here? You see, if people will, if people, those only who likes me will come here, then we will see a few. But those who love the Spirit of God, amen, those who love to come and worship, Special conferences are they powerful? They're good. It's great. It's a special time to get together. You know what God says about these things? And I'm not criticizing because we're doing special meetings ourselves. <laughs> he says, finally, they're getting together for me. Finally, they're getting together for my presence. I'll bless them. Finally, they're getting, they, they got it. You know? So, conference once a year, twice a year, we call it conference, we call it special meetings. I looked through the Bible, in the life of Jesus, he never had any conferences, not one. Remember? You know what he had? Powerful ministry every day. That was his life. I looked at the book of Acts. They never had any conferences. They never had any special things coming. Advertising on the radio in Jerusalem. Come. Apostle Peter is coming. Apostle Paul is coming. And we're going to have three days. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Miracle meetings in Jerusalem in the temple. Apostle Peter, Apostle Paul, and somebody else. Advertise. You know what? Didn't happen. Actually, I know that we do not ourselves. I do advertise. But what I'm trying to say, we need to go higher. You know that people are hungry and thirsty for God. Every believer is hungry and thirsty for God. And the problem is, we don't give them enough opportunity to be filled. If every church in this country will decide to have worship at least a few times a week, just worship, without programs, no coffee, no cakes, just worship. Come and to, be, and to begin, and when they will begin experiencing the presence of God, 
the congregation will begin to move in the right direction. Because this is what God wanted. We worship you, Father. Praise Him with the symbols. Praise Him with the dance. Praise Him with the shofar. Come on, praise Him with your hands. Praise Him with the timbrel. Praise Him with the heart. Praise Him with the drum and the flute. And praise Him with your heart. Praise Him with your hands. Praise Him with the timbre. Praise Him with the heart. Praise Him with the drum and the flute. Praise Him with your heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everything that has breath, come and praise the Lord. Hallelujah, Lord, we come to praise you tonight. We give you all the honor to your name. For you are worthy, O oh God, of being praised. We praise you, O oh God. Praise Him with the symbol. Praise Him with the dance. Praise Him with the shofar. Praise Him with your hands. You gotta praise Him with the timbrel. Praise Him with the heart. Praise Him with the drum and the flute. And praise Him with your heart. Hallelujah, Adonai, Hallelujah. House of David, Jewish Messianic Ministry, is produced and sponsored by viewers like you. We appreciate your support, which is allowing us to continue to broadcast our programming. Thank you, and God bless you. Shalom.